Hello everyone. So today we'll be doing qualitative comparison questions. And our first question is 197 plus 398 plus 586. Is this quantity greater or equal or less than 203 plus 505, 405 plus 607? So 203 is more than 197, 5, 405 is more than 398, and 607 is more than 586. So obviously, quantity B would be greater than quantity A. Hence, option B is correct. Now, X is greater than 0. Now, X can be 1, X can be 0.5, X can be 2. So there are so many different possibilities. Now, 10X, this is quantity A, and quantity B is 10 over X. So if X is 1, then both would be equal. So this would be 10, this would also be 10. But if x is 0 0.5, then this would be 5, and this would be 20. So we can't tell which quantity is uh, greater. So option D is correct. The time that it takes to type seven pages, so we need to type seven pages at a rate of six page per hour. So six page per hour. So this is the, actually this is the speed of writing so we write six page per hour so how many time will it take to write seven pages so obviously it will be going to take seven plus hours and the time it takes to type six pages so we need to type six pages and the rate is seven pages per hour so in order to write uh, six pages you will need less than one hour so quantity a would be greater than quantity b because you require more than one hour to write seven pages if the speed is six pages per hour. Question four, now CD is less than zero. So it means that one of the two would be negative. Either C can be negative or D can be negative, but both cannot be negative because negative multiplied by negative gives you a positive number. But over here, CD is less than negative. So either C or D would be negative. Now, what is C plus D raised to the power 2? So it is C squared plus 2CD plus D squared. And quantity B is C squared plus D squared. Now, if you just, if you're not careful, then you might think that quantity A is greater than quantity B because there's an addition of 2CD. But we need to understand what, we need to understand that one of them is a negative number. So if D is negative, so this actually would be written as C minus D raised to the power 2. So this, this, this would be C square minus 2CD plus D square. Now over here we are subtracting 2CD. So this is minus 2CD. Uh, so obviously this number C square minus 2CD plus D square would be actually less than C square plus D square. Hence quantity B is greater than quantity a and one more thing that c and d cannot be zero as well because if either of them are, is uh, is uh, zero then c d would actually be equal to zero so we also know that c and d are not equal to zero so quantity b is greater than quantity a so option b is correct so A, B, and C are the measure of the angles of isosceles triangle. So either the angle is isosceles or, and X, Y, Z are the measure of the angles of a right triangle. Uh, triangle, uh, triangle. So either it is isosceles or right triangle. So the total number of angles in both the cases equals to 180. So A, B, and C are the measure of the angles of isosceles triangle and X, Y, Z are the measures of triangles of right triangle X, Y, Z. The average of ABC would be 180 divided by 3 and the average of XYZ will also be 180 divided by 3. So both would be equal. And the reason why both would be equal is that in an angle, in a triangle, the total number of angles we find equals to. So if we add all the numbers, uh, if we add all the angles, they equate to 180. Now B is less than 0. So B is a negative number. So 6b and b raised to power 6. Now, negative number raised to power even number always gives you a positive number. And 6 multiplied by a negative number will always be a negative number. 
Now, B raised to the power 6 would actually be a positive number and 6 multiplied by B and B being a negative number would actually be less than a positive number because this is a negative number. A positive number is always greater than the negative number. Hence, quantity B is correct. So, option B is correct. Quantity B is greater than quantity A. Question 7. The area of a circle whose radius is 17 square. So, this can be written as pi into 17 square. And the area of a circle whose diameter is 35. So, the area would be 17.5. So, pi into 17.5 square. So, the area of a area of a circle is pi r square. So, which of the two quantity is greater? So, quantity B is greater than quantity A. Hence, option B is correct. Now line K goes through 1, 1 and 5, 2. So the gradient formula is Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So the gradient would be 2 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1. So this is 1 upon 4. It's a positive number. And line M is a perpendicular. So whenever we have a perpendicular, so let's suppose line, the gradient is X and the perpendicular gradient would be minus 1 upon X. So this is what you need to know. Let's suppose the gradient of a line uh, K was um, 1 upon 4. So what will be the perpendicular uh, gradient of the perpendicular? So the gradient of the perpendicular would actually be minus 4. So the slope of the line is uh, of K is positive. The slope of line K is positive. And by default, because of the formula, the slope of the line M would be negative because it is perpendicular. So positive is greater than negative. Hence, option A is Correct. Now x is a positive integer. The number of multiples of x between 100 and x plus 100 and the number of multiples of 9 between 100 and x plus 100. Let's suppose x is 20. So we have 100 plus 20 that is 120. So how many multiples there would be in between uh, 100 and 120? So if when we are uh, talking in terms of 6, so the first number would be 102. Then it would be 108, then 114 and 120. So these are the four multiples of 6 between 100 and 120. And how many for 9? So for 9, this there would be 108. Then 117. So these are the only two multiples between 100 and 100 and 120 for 9. Now, in this particular case, when we have x is 20, then quantity a is greater than uh, quantity uh, b. But we can also have x equals to 1. So between 100 and 101, there is no multiple for 6 and there is no multiple for 9. So the answer would be equal. So we don't know. Either quantity A is greater or quantity B is greater because there is also a scenario where there are no multiples. So there can be an X where there are no multiples. So in that particular case, quantity A would be equal to quantity B. But there is another case, if X equals to 20, then quantity A is greater than quantity B. So we are not sure. So hence, option D is correct. Now X plus Y equals to 5. And y minus x equals to minus 5. So if we add both of them up, so this x and x cancels out. So 2y equals to 0, y equals to 0. Hence, option C is correct. 7 over 8 is a number between 0 and 1. So it's a decimal. So let's suppose it's, um, it's an, it would be a number tilted towards 1, but still it is, uh, it's, it's a decimal. So to be precise, this is approximately, this would be 0 0.88. But we, we, we shouldn't uh, get into uh, so much detail. We just need to know that it's a number between 0 and 1. So whenever we have a decimal, whenever we have a decimal, when we square that number, or whenever we raise to, raise to it by a power of a positive integer, we always get a lower number. So for example, 0 0.5 squared would be less than 0 0.5. 0.5 cube would be even less than 0.5 square. So 7 upon 8, because it's a decimal, a decimal number raised to power 5 is even a smaller number. So quantity A is greater than quantity B. For example, 0.5 and 0.5 square. 0.5 square is 0.25. So 
So 0 0.5 is greater than 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 cube would be even less than 0 0.25. Hence quantity A is greater than quantity B and so option A is correct. Now O is the center of the circle of radius 6. So we know that this distance is 6. O x y z is a square. So O x y z is a square. So we know one thing. So this distance is 6. What will be the sides length of the uh, size of the square so x square plus x square equals to 36 so 2x square equals to 36 x square equals to 18 and x equals to under root 18. Now we want to find out the area of the shaded region so the area of the shaded region is the area of a uh, quarter circle minus the area of a square so area of a quarter circle would be how much 1 upon 4 pi r square so 1 upon 4 pi radius is 6 36 so 9 4 the 36 so 9 pi is this area of this arc minus the uh, area of the square so x square equals to under root 18 into under root 18 that is obviously this is 18 so x square equals to 18 so 9 pi minus 18 is the area of the shaded region now quantity b is 12 so 9 into 3.142 minus 18 so 9 3 is a 27 27 minus 18 is 27 minus 18 is 9 and we know that this would be a little more than 27 so we also have 0 0.142 but still that number would be the maximum that number can be that would be like 1.5 uh, but even less than 1.5 but again 12 so 27 minus 18 is 9 so it can either go up till 12 so we know that 0.142 into 9 is less than 3. So actually 9 into 3.142 is 28.287. So 28.27 minus 18 is again approximately 10 point something. 10.27. So Quantity B is greater than quantity A. But still, uh, if you want to do it quickly, so 9, 3 is a 27. 27 minus 18 is 9. So 9 is less than 12. So quantity B is greater than quantity A. Hence, option B is correct. The number of square inches in the surface area of a cube. So in a cube, surface area equals to 6x squared. And the wall, this is your surface area. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And the volume, this is your surface area. And the volume equals to x cube. Now the area of a surface uh, in the surface area of cube is equal to the number of cubic inches in its volume. So 6x squared equals to x cube. x squared and x squared cancels out. So x equals to 6. So the side, the length of each side of a cube is 6. So both quantities are equal. Hence option C is correct. Now x is greater than 1 and x is less than 4. So we have this pi into x. So this is 3.142 into x and we have x into x. Now which quantity would be greater? So if let's suppose if we take x equals to 3 then 3.142 multiplied by 3 and 3 multiplied by 3, then obviously quantity A would be greater than quantity B. If we take x equals to 3.142, which is also between 1 and 4, so this is 3.142 multiplied by 3.142. This would be 3.142 and multiplied by 3.142. So in this particular case, both of them are equal. So we are not sure which quantity is greater. So there can be a scenario where both of them are same. And it can be also a scenario where quantity A is greater than quantity B. So we are not sure which quantity is greater, equal or less. Hence option D is correct. Now over here we have a triangle where A, B equals to A, C. So both of these sides are equal. So the area of this triangle would be half into base into height. So half, we know the height, height is 6. So this is your height and it's also intersecting the base. So we have a 90 degree angle. 
and this is your base bc is your base now 1 upon 2 into 6 is 3 so the area equals to 3 multiplied by b now base can be 1 base can be 2 base can be 3 there can be uh, almost infinite number of uh, length of this base so we are not sure what is this base is so if base equals to 1 then area of abc would be equal to 3 but if the base is 2 then the area of abc would be 6 so we are not sure uh, what the area of abc actually is so option d is correct Hence, in the end, please do a lot of practice so that you can get a perfect score.